Okay guys, in this video I want to show you a few projects that you should be doing if you want to learn uh, JavaScript, if you want to become a web developer. If you don't want to do that, then feel free to continue watching tutorials. But in case you want to make money writing code and doing all this cool stuff, then I would highly suggest to you to actually pay attention to what I'm going to tell you and actually do what I'm going to tell you, okay? So, one of the most important things that you need to do as a developer is to know how to work with arrays and how to create elements based on like some array that you are receiving, okay? I've touched on this subject a bunch of times and I want to repeat myself because it's not about learning some new concept, it's about repetition, right? How do you get better at something? Is by repeating that thing and actually being mindful about what you're doing and understanding the reason why you're doing it okay so if you are slightly on the side and you've been learning about arrays loops and all this stuff you're probably wondering like what's the purpose of this array that i'm learning about and what is the purpose of this object that i'm learning about well they actually have a huge huge impact and I want to show you a few demonstrations of a few arrays so you know exactly how to use those arrays and I'm going to give you some challenges at the end of this uh, video. Okay, so stay until the end. All right, cool. First thing is like, what is an array, right? An array, it's a list of things. It's a collection, right? And then if we look here on this website, which is Instagram, we can see a bunch of lists. Okay, this is one list, this thing here. This thing here, it's a list. This whole feed, it's a list. All right. If we open this guy and we click on comments, we can see another list. All right. And then inside each comment, we can see another list. Fair enough. Fair enough. I hope I already sold you on it. Now, let's go to Twitter. Do you see all these tweets that I posted that nobody liked because I'm not on Twitter? That's another list, a list of tweets. Look at the trends, another list. Look at this, another list. Another list. Can you actually see all these lists? <laughs> this is another list. Can you see it? I hope you can. Uh, if I go to my followers, can you see the list? Take a shot for every single time I said list, go back and bring your vodka and start taking shots every time I'm saying a list. So you guessed it. The first thing that you need to do is to create some sort of list. Okay. You get an array, all right, of objects, or you can start with strings, an array of strings, and then you figure out how to use a for loop to create an HTML element, insert some text into that HTML element, and then take that HTML element that you've created with JavaScript and then put it on the screen. Right, so I gave you a few problems that you can research and find out how to do, but this is like one thing that you should be doing today, okay? If you wanna become a programmer, okay? You cannot get away from this. Like, you simply cannot, all right? Next challenge that I wanna give you is to create some sort of model, right? So if I click on this button here, a model appears, if I click outside it closes very simple you've seen this before i would highly suggest you to do it if i click on this button another model appears all right and you can try to create something like this i only care about the model the idea behind creating a model you know with using some sort of event listener on a button to open a model and then you click on something else and then you close the model learning about class list toggle or class list add, class list remove, those uh, methods that exist on HTML elements, okay? So that's the second one. And the third one, it's actually a whiteboard. You saw me using a whiteboard multiple times and you don't need to make a super fancy whiteboard, but you can have just a basic one that just notices when you draw something, all right? And it just, you know, do something like this this is like extremely powerful like uh, this type of whiteboard from these guys from Miro is like very difficult to make but the basic idea of just drawing on something should be doable for most people 
and it should be doable for you okay uh, so yeah these are the three apps that i think you should give them a shot probably they are not really apps but they are parts of an app if that makes sense because you as a developer you need to learn how to break down an application into smaller tasks and then that smaller task can be broken down into smaller tasks as well and then so on and so forth until you figure out okay what is the smallest piece that i can build you start building a bunch of small pieces you put them together you have a feature then you put a bunch of features together you have a story you put a bunch of stories together you have an application you have an application then you can start making money off of it or you can go ahead and get hired and whatnot you can do a bunch of things once once you have an application and the proper one so i hope this makes sense to you if it does let me know leave a like if you've attempted doing this and if you learn something new let me know in the comments if you're not subscribed subscribe and if you want to be part of my mentorship program you can join the waitlist there are right now like 300 people waiting for me to open it so if you want to be able to grab one of the few spots that i'm going to open up in the next few days probably at the end of the month uh, join the waitlist i'm going to send you an email so you can uh, book your time to talk to me and then we'll figure out if we are the right fit for each other all right that's it bye